Debbie is ready to move. Angie is set to go. Oh, my God. He's gorgeous. They've got 24 hours to make all their red-hot dreams come true. He was an animal pulling at me slowly with a fiend. Really? She likes it sweet. You're kind of cute for a little guy. She likes it hot. Mm. Can I lick your tonsils? See how two girls put it all together by breaking all the rules. Ready to die. Get up. Get up. Mm. Damn, man, ever since you stopped dancing, all you've been doing is drinking. How's it going? You finance your job today. The job he's gonna keep this time. Listen, fast action wants us on the stage real quick. No emergency drill. You know that goes. Hear that, Max? You better go. 
No, we're gonna go. Fast action's always calling those emergency drills. But then we're gonna see Angelina about a child. Easy. Joining our ranks. Delivery boys of America, unite! Oh. Did I say something wrong? We gotta go to work. You don't start work until 12 o'clock. I gotta get my brother Izzy a job. I got homework. What's your excuse? I got a date. Oh, you got a date? Yeah, I got a date. How do these guys want to win? Look at them. These guys ain't just playing for marbles, you know. How do you guys expect to win if you don't practice? These guys are a bunch of all day suckers. Suck this! convince her of me serious. You serious, Bond? Man, you is serious. She ain't never gonna see nobody as serious as you. You deadly. Call it, man. She. That company. Oh, awesome. What do they want with me? I don't know, but I think you better find out. Go give it to her. I do something for you guys. You may sit down. We would you get mine? Me say sit down. They call me Spider. Cause she creep around. <laughs> cool it, man. This is a very serious matter. Good. I like to be serious. Three of your delivery boys are members of a breakdance crew known as the Delivery Boys. So, what's it to you? Tonight, your delivery boy is going to face off against my crew, known as the Devil Dog. Here comes the serious part. He getting serious now. So am I. Giving a ten thousand dollar reward to the crew that wins. That's so. Yeah, that's so. Now, last year the Devil Dogs was up to win the ten thousand dollars, just like this year we're up to win it. But we didn't win it last year. Sorry to hear that. Oh, so was we. The crew that won last year was called the Big Shot. <laughs> now, that's a picture of the Big Shots holding their check for 10,000 in their trophy. What happened, you guys? Yeah, well, we brought them along because they're going to help to convince you. Convince me to what? You're going to find out right now. That's Richie. That Bobby. That's Manny. That one's Richie. That one's Bobby. And this one's Manny. <laughs> the big shot. 
Oh, no. Say it ain't so. Now they the little shots. Who <laughs> Shoot. I got seven empty places in my trophy case. And Max's crew got seven guys. What do you want me to do? You keep your delivery boys from showing up at the contest. My guys can handle the other four with no problem. This is all a question of mind over matter. You see, I don't mind and they don't matter. Now, by putting our heads together, we're going to help your delivery boys to keep their heads together. With their bodies, you dig? I read. That's what we're gonna do right now. <laughs> hey, you pussies. You ain't gonna want diddle with squad sitting on the behinds. I feel an emergency drill coming on. I feel a pain coming on. I've been got women to a private service, my, 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 who's? I've been got a stivage. Have you got a stivage? I've been tired. What he said? Scandal says he's gonna practice his moves out on the stage. You know, he's been hanging out under the bridge a lot with that guy, Kenji. Man, that dude, Kenji, got the freshest boogie moves. I wish it was in our group. Instead of... I know what you're gonna say and don't say it. So Conrad, don't move in your league. But he cares a lot about the D, boys. Wasn't his dad who bought us the costumes? Yeah, and wasn't it his dad who gave Max a job delivering at the pizza place when Izzy and Max's mom died? And they didn't have no bread. Dang, man, he can't help if he's blonde. Don't be prejudiced, man. Yo, I ain't prejudiced. I like Comrade. But why ain't he here practicing with us instead of getting down with that chick? the problem with you was what you weren't concentrating i know i'm sorry i wasn't thinking of you <laughs> that was obvious was it that obvious i've never had this sort of a problem with a guy before what's wrong with me anyway you're a pig Pig? A pig. A pig pig? We're both pigs. I'm getting out of here. I'm a pig, too. Perhaps the biggest pig of all. I'm all confused inside. Nothing matters anymore. Except one thing. Connor? You forgot the board meeting downtown. Your father is going to be mighty pissed. You know, Babcock, I hate board meetings. No matter how I try, I'm bored with boards. Why would you bring a girl to a dump like this? Well, I've been to the Ritz-Carlton. I've been to the Carlisle. I've been to the Plaza. I know, I know, Conrad. You're bored. I'm bored. Yeah. To be or not be? That is the question. Question. But if it's nobler, mine suffer slings, arrows. Conrad, don't you think you ought to be telling me where I've been taking you every night for the past two weeks? No. Your father's been breathing down my neck. I know, it's terrible. It's those cigars he smokes. Why won't you tell me what you've been doing all these nights? You might break under torture. You're right. I would. I'm not brave. Oh, stop the car! Hey, Chuck and Perry, wait up! To die. To sleep. To sleep a chance to dream. 
Hey, there's the rub. It's a rub. From that sleep hey, of death, what dreams may come must give us pause. What's that, man? It's a rub. A rub? Yeah, it says here, hey, there's the rub. Oh, that's Hamlin. I know that's Hamlin. Hamlin don't know how to talk right. You know what, man? What, man? I think he's a vet. You too. She's always worrying about us. That's because you care about us. Damn right, I care about you. So the man is just for the care. You weren't just a manager. You're like my best friend. You know something? I think you're the best. Me too, man. I think you're the best too. Joey's been acting weird lately. Reading all that Shakespeare stuff. Why are you doing that, man? He a talent, not Shakespearean. An education is an important thing to have, you know. Your move. I don't never want to see your lousy face no more. See something, Aishi. Yeah, you know who's here today talking to her? I seen him together. Spider, two of his devil dogs. No shit, man. What was he doing here? You better ask Angelina that. Spider and those devil dogs. Max, what are you so worried about? I'm 10,000 bucks worried. Miss Thelma. Max is gonna win. Not a spider has anything to say about it. Come on, Izzy, let's find out what's going on here. It's all this I hear about Spider coming to see you. Whatever do you mean? Come on, Angelina, you know I treat you right. Sometimes you do, and uh, sometimes you don't. Who's that handsome specimen over there? This is my brother, Izzy. He needs a job. You got one for him? Hey, man. They ain't in no place in like that. Muscles ain't everything, you know. They ain't? Nah, brains are important, too. Not like muscles. Brains are muscles. You said. But you see, the more you exercise your brain, the stronger it gets. If you never read or talk about deep shit and stuff like that, your brain gets flabby. You telling me I got a flabby brain? Think Izzy's gonna get a job at Ben's? It all depends on Angeline. If she likes it, then. That chick is weird. She's on level. She never did nothing to screw us around. I don't know, man. Izzy got the strange effects on chicks. Izzy sure does make girls act strange. But Angeline, she's well put together. No guy ever make her come unglued. Max got a delivery. Belmont, a penthouse off of Fifth Avenue. Now, I'll take care of your brother, Izzy. See that, Izzy? You got yourself a job. Max, go. Way to go, Izzy.
Ben's with the food. He says to come in and wait. Sure thing. What's your name? Me? Tina. I have to go back inside, but you wait here and she'll be out soon. She'll be out soon. This is gonna be great. You bet it will. Please, pick up our food. The dining room is up the stairs. <laughs> up the stairs, silly. That's it. Don't be afraid. Gorgeous. Now enter the room at the top of the stairs. That's a good boy. That's where we eat. This is a big house you have. Where are you? You'll find out. That's right. Now enter the room like I told you. Such a good boy. This is a dining room? Just put the food on the table. Okay, that'll be $11.42, please. Sit down, please. Sit down? Where? <laughs> At the table, silly. That's right. Now take the food out of the packages and put it on the plate. That's fine. 
There's a wine bucket right near you. See it? Yeah, I see it. Pour wine in both glasses. Now close your eyes. Close my eyes? Mm-hmm. Close those beautiful brown eyes. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Max. <laughs> Are you on welfare? On welfare? I think it's so much nicer that way. Take a little cheese, yeah, a little more. The blunt. Never mind the blunt. Just put the cheese in it. Oops. Okay, man, just fold it, right? Take a little bit more. Hey, how's the future citywide breakdancing champion? He's nervous. I suppose you're not. I ain't got no deliveries I intend to meditate. Where's Angeline? She's downstairs in the storeroom with a new recruit. Hey, Conrad, if you win, what are you going to do with your share of the money? I may dedicate a new wing at Bellevue. What do you say? Let's go. Woo! Yes, I'm the one to eat up. Nah. Imitator, the cloud fascinator, the woman persuader, the MC devastator, and no one is greater. The Puerto Rican rapper, the incredible rocker, Charlie Rock. Yes, that is me, and I was voting number one MC. Cause I'm not a fighter, I am a writer in the streets. I am known as the Matt So Timer. Rock it all, the break. Good. I think it would look so nervous, man. Yeah, somebody's gotta be nervous. It's a tough business. Do you boys give me any trouble? Trouble. Who gets them the gigs? Who sees they show up on time? Who sees they got clean costumes? Who sees they get paid? You do? Damn right I do. That ain't all the trouble you got from what I've been hearing. No shit. Spider been up to some evil moves. Ain't you heard about it? No. You're gonna hear. Personally, I hope you whip their ass. But you won't. What are you talking about, man? How is it going, gentlemen? The two dudes just go inside a few minutes ago. Man, we gon' fuck those mothers up. You sure did do a good job on that Angelina. She got bad plans for those delivery boys. Okay, me slide into the workouts. Now, both you two gentlemen know what you're supposed to do, eh? Do I know? Do I know? Do you know? Cheat, man, man. Cheat, man, me ask you a question. Cheat. So what happened? I mean... Premature ejaculation. There's no crime. What's my mother? Have you ever been interrupted by your mother while nature was taking its course? That, my friends, is a sensation to be avoided at all costs. So what'd she do? I'll bet she screamed bloody murder. I read, you don't know my mother. She comes right over to the place where Brenda and I are in the Ferranti Delicto on the rug. My mother kneels down. She turns to Brenda and says, How can you do it? How can you stand it with him? He doesn't even take a bath. Have you looked behind his ears? <laughs> What's the matter with him? Ah, it's always dealing with his nerves. What are you so nervous about? Break dancing ain't like boxing. Cutie little snob. I'm so nervous I can't see straight. I wish I had a delivery to keep my mind off things. Conrad! Conrad! Come here, please! Conrad, come over here. What you got, sweetheart? <laughs> 
say it, but you don't mean it. Oh, sure I do, sweetheart. You take real good care of me. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, Conrad, you're so good. I was a choir boy. Did you know that? Conrad, promise me one thing. Anything. Promise you won't hate me? Now, why would I hate you? I just couldn't stand to see you all shrunk up. Run that by me again. Sing to me quietly. Later. You got something for me? You bet I do. You got a delivery over at the hospital in Brooklyn. You hurry back. Certainly, my dumpling. Hurry back. Certainly, my dumpling. Say, this substitute guinea pig be here any minute. He need that hundred dollars real bad. His mama sick, you know. But he a little shake about taking that needle, if you know what I mean. Don't worry about that. He won't know what to do. That's good. That's good. Now, you two gentlemen, excuse me. I got to go to church. Don't worry. Uncle Sam will take good care of your friend. So I pray. So I sincerely pray. Mm. When our guinea pig knocks, you answer. <laughs> she. I stand there behind the door. Blood sugar was 150. Okay, then just increase her NPH to 40 units this evening and do an AM blood sugar. Dr. Brown. Yes, Excuse me. Yes. Uh, I have a delivery for the uh, fifth floor experimental lab. Two boxes of pizza. Uh, you can take them right down the hall. It's the second door on your left. Second door on the left. Thanks. Dr. Harvey. Hey, and good luck. Dr. Fritz. Thanks. Shouldn't we apprise the subject of the side effects of this drug? We will. Afterwards. The subjects are much more willing afterwards. Dr. Katz. Dr. Adams. Dr. John Adams. Just a minute. Dr. Evans. Good evening, young man. Come in, please, won't you? You can give me your pizza, and we'll have it later on. Uh, well, that'll be $12 and... Marvelous. A lot of cooperative subjects. You want to move over to the table with me, please? Now, at long last, we can begin. How can you sleep at a time like this? What we have here is a failure to communicate. 
Some guy tell you, it's been on my mind lately. A lot of things been on my mind lately. But it's been the most on my mind. You know, I never had nothing. I ain't never been nothing. I guess I thought I would never be nothing. But I guess when you think of all the billions of people out there, none of us is nothing. All of all the nothings. I was the most nothing. When I'm breaking, spinning around like this old top. I used to spin around when I was growing up. When I'm spinning like that, I'm so free. There ain't nothing I can do. You gotta help us win tonight. You gotta go out there with something. I'll make you this deal. You just win, just this once, let us win. You know my buddies and me. Then it's cool. You let me go on losing like I've done the rest of my life. How about that? Ain't that a good deal? I'm offering you. Do you really have to be there? Hey, Angelina, will you find something for Joey to do? I can't cook with him meditating on the counter. He's been there for two hours. Two hours. Make it hemorrhoids that way, you know? Angelina, I can't work here if you don't do something about this delivery boy. Hey, Joey. Talking like I'm your prisoner or something. <laughs> How observant. You crazy or something? How are you gonna keep me here against my will? I won't. In fact, the door won't even be locked. But you'll stay. Open it. Find out. <laughs> what a nice pet you have. <laughs> that spot. He hates delivery boys. And then there's Daddy. Daddy? He stays in a little room right off the foyer almost all the time. And he's with the police commission. Now, what would he say if a Puerto Rican delivery boy came tiptoeing out of his daughter's room after ravaging the poor damsel for two hours? What is it now, Izzy? I just know it. Something terrible has happened to the delivery boys. Now, I ask you. Would I send employees into a situation that they could not handle?
Oh, Mo. What do you want? Go away. Show not ready yet. Come back later. Got your pizza order. Why you no say so? Pizza for critics. They know worth more. Ah, you like my people, eh? People? Eh. I make plaster cast from real people. I really very good. Yeah, I, uh, really very good. Uh, how much, uh, how much you want? Oliver. <laughs> how much money you want for pizza? Oh, uh, six pies, uh, $30,000. Uh, no, I mean $32. 30. Uh, I go. You wait. You look around. Tonight is big opening. This one here, the one you look at, is my masterpiece. No, not touch the statue! They break easy. You break, you, you, you sorry. Oh, no. Delivery boy break this last week. Now, in East River. Don't worry. I'm just gonna look, I don't touch. Huh. Up. Maybe they got held up. Maybe they got into an accident or something. My baby, baby, be thy baby. Listen, all you know is in one hour, this concert starts and three of our guys are missing. I bought five and five or seven and five and Guy Von. I was gonna send my little brother to camp next summer. I be wife as guy boy being type of guy by the hyper cover live a jive but cover siphon. What the hell he said? Said he was gonna get a college education. Dive is cyber and hobby spy be cabin glibish? He says, don't you speak English? That's what he said? You guys are talking like we're all down and out of it. Look at them, man. You're telling me we ain't been licked? Something's coming. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be great. Could be. Who knows? More wine? My delicious animal. Yes, my lady, if you wish me to have. Yes, my gladiator. Yes. Tomorrow you will go into the ring and fight to the death. I never knew a lowly slave could know such bliss. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I have never in my life had a subject like this. All we have is a few blips. There's one chance in a million. Only one chance in a million? You watch and listen. In the rapture of your touch, I see paradise anew, my darling, I love you so much. From the moment our eyes met, something grew inside me. All at once my heart was taken, no more the callow schoolboy. Touches now my new 
Won't tell you any good to run. There's no place to go. But you know how kind I am to those that cooperate. You know how to cooperate by now, don't you? Damn, she hid my clothes. You're being just like all the rest of the girls, are you? You'll do what you're told. Now, you know what comes next? Spot. I bet you'd like your dinner right now, wouldn't you? What are you doing here? Oh, you must be Mr. Belmont. Oh. I'm Rosa. Rosa? Rosa, what are you doing? You my foyer? Well, I'm here in your foyer because the agency sent me over to be a new maid. New maid? Yes. Yeah, we do need a new maid. I was just in the process of getting rid of the last one. We'll see what you can do this very minute. And this is going to be your room. Now, you see that hole there? That's my playroom next door. I, I have that hole because uh, I like to have a close, ongoing relationship with people that work with me. Oh, that's really nice, Mr. Belmont. I mean, a good relationship with your employees is the important thing. Oh, I'm glad you like that. Oh. You know, I got an idea. Why, why don't we try out the whole thing right now? I mean, you see what you can do. You know, you can get a big bonus your first day. Look, I'm going to go out, go next door, and I'll show you how everything works. minute I'm going to take my face out of the hole and you'll never guess what I'm going to put in this place. I can guess. Rosa, I'm going to see what you can do. I'm ready. Holy shit. Senor Belmont, please put your head back in the hole. I got to talk to you. Come on, Rosa. I haven't got all day. Oh, I know that, Senor Belmont. 
but I want to do a real good job for you. And there's only one way I can do what you want. What do you want me to do? Well, I'd like you to go back into your kitchen and get me a big container of fresh whipped cream. Oh, I know where you're coming from, but I I I'll be back in a flash. Washing windows? He tried the same thing with me. All I wanted was a job. I'm the delivery boy from Bent. Oh, yeah. Hi. I'm gonna get us both out of here. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna be kind to animals. You're gonna what? Here, yeah, hurry. Are you ready? You can cooperate, won't you? Oh, Senor Belmont, I'm gonna give you a feeling like you never had before in your life. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Neither can I. I'm ready. Just relax now. Ooh. Oh, what a tongue, Rosa. What a tongue. Your teeth are sharp. Rosa, Ro Rosa, your teeth, Rosa. We're gonna make it for sure. We're gonna make it for sure. Hello? Who's this? Oh, Polly, let me talk to Angelina. Oh? Well, what happened? Well, where is everybody? Oh, Jesus, I better get down there. Things have sort of uh, flared up around here and they won't settle down. You give it all you got it, no need to beg it. Before the night is over, I know we're gonna make it. Ain't no need to
place is unreal. Look at it. Unbelievable. Took you so long. Jesus! Shh. Don't make a scene. If I move, I'm gonna be a dead man. I thought they did Jim Blaster. If I move, they will. What, what are you gonna do? I have to stay here like this till all the people leave. Guy says if I spoil his opening, he's gonna make me a permanent statue. He was set up. I was what? Set up. Spider said he was gonna shrink your head and your other parts if you guys showed up at the clamp test tonight. So I helped him to have his Shanghai. You what? Remarkable ass. Quite an ass, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, he is, isn't he? He's quite an ass. Hello? This is Mrs. Chucker Ferry. And you the mother of that little delivery boy, Joey Chucker Ferry? Well, my name is Mr. Spider. And I'm a very concerned citizen. Yeah, it seems your little boy, him in big trouble. It's a shame the thing young people do these days, you know. Him broke a $30,000 statue at the DeFalco Gallery on Green Street. Well, you better hustle right on down there, because, you know, that little boy, him need his mother. Oh, personally, I find this sort of realism repugnant. And the vulgarity of the subject matter affords no vestige of redeemability to the artist's own. Officer? I thought I heard you say somebody stole your bike. Did I say that? Look, somebody steal your bike or not? Well, uh, they did, but it uh, doesn't matter. Oh, yeah? Uh, how's that? Well, uh, it was stolen, but, uh, I don't have time to worry about it. I gotta get back to work. Yep. Hey, uh, where are you hiding? Me? Hiding? Yeah, you look awful suspicious. Come on, get your hands behind your head. My hands behind my head? You heard what I said. Look, you want me to run you in? Uh, no, officer. Uh, my hand behind my head? Both of them. Both my hands behind my head? Now! Officer! 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 Stay where we are. Don't move. I want you to arrest this little old lady. I was just sitting in this park catching some Z's. Then I was awakened, and I see this granny across the park with my box. I had to run clear across the park to catch her. Is this clown telling the truth? Did you rip off this box? Come on, delivery boy. I got a dollar. Well, put a chain on, get out. Got change for a dollar? I don't know. I'll look. Maybe I have it. Don't you have any change at all? No, I don't have any.
Can't you do something else with that? It's so rude. We gotta go, but first I gotta go. I mean, I gotta go, go. Go, go. Piss. Oh, go, go. Go, go. Can't you hold it? I've been holding it. I can't hold it no more. Well, what do you expect me to do? Is anybody standing around? No, not right now. They're all over there listening to some art expert. Okay, good. Then you gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. Give me a couple of champagne glasses. You must be. Kidding. Hurry. You ain't. You better hurry or there's gonna be a flood. Okay, I got the glass. Take me out of this fig leaf. Take yourself out of your own fig leaf. I can't do that now. Will you hurry up? I thought you'd go for this sort of thing. Now put a champagne glass down here. This is fun. It's like milking a cow. Okay, ready? Ah. Oh, that's how it is. Stop, it's full. Okay, get another one. Ready? Ready. Stop, now this one's full. Get another one. Another one? Hurry up, before they come back. Ready? Uh-oh. Here comes the ground. Okay, that'll have to do for now. Close me up. Here they come. Thanks, pal. Don't mention. That Dr. Marchand hasn't the slightest idea about art. <laughs> I really found him rather amusing. Oh, I found him terribly boring. Chacun a son goût. My dear, would you mind fetching me some champagne? I'm simply dying of thirst. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh, thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Quite all right, my dear. Did you know that Dr. Marchand was the museum consultant on that Rembrandt forgery brouhaha some time back? Oh, he's the one. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there was something terribly underhanded in that whole affair. It's awfully warm in here, isn't it? Mm. I, uh, I think it's the champagne. It's, uh, warm and, uh, flat. I swear. The art world isn't what it used to be. How it be, gentlemen? It be fantastic! It be magnificent! Be... What the fuck happened? The little Italian boy done gone and broke a $30,000 statue and is currently indisposed. That blonde devil got a needle for that blue stuff. Ooh, they both out of the question for the night. They wiped out total. They in no man's land. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the hour has arrived. The moment you have all been waiting for. For weeks, you have been gathered here beneath this magnificent bridge to witness the Battle of the Breakers on a citywide breakdance championship contest. Tonight, out of more than 200 groups who have met here in competition, the two top groups, Max Ramirez and his delivery boys, and Spider and his double boys. Before the moment arrives, I would like to introduce you to the sponsor of the event, the man that made this evening possible. Here is Mr. Otto Goldblatt. President of Petunia Penwa Incorporated, makers of those famous revolutionary undies you guys have all been buying for your girlfriends, Pachuco panties. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Arnold Goldblatt. For years, gangs in this neighborhood and others like it 
have been killing themselves and destroying their neighborhoods with needless gangland rape, violence, and plunder. But now, now there's new hope for the young people of our nation's inner cities. This art, this new feeling of expression for our young begins here with this new way of settling differences. And may I say with all due modesty, Jesus, you got trouble. No, you're kidding. My back's starting to give. Your mother's here. She's on the other side of the gallery. Holy moly. She can't find me like this. I'll be the end. You gotta do something. I don't know what to do. You gotta hide my face. Shut up. Good evening, Mrs. Chuck Berry. You remember me. I'm Angelina from Joey's Job. You know Ben. Oh, yeah. How you doing, Angelina? Oh, I'm fine. Just fine. How you doing? Well, I got this call. Something about Joey breaking a statue. Somebody called you, you said? Yeah, a man named Mr. Spider. Miss Chuck Berry, this Mr. Spider, he's nobody you should be too concerned with. Your Joey ain't in any trouble. You mean to say that Joey ain't here? What I mean to say is... Holy shit! I see something. I don't know what I see, but I'm gonna find out. Ah! It's my son. It's Joey. Of course, I know that little ass. How many times I change his diaper? How many times I squeeze him when he's a beautiful child before he go crazy? How many times I spank him when Joey do nasty things? <gasps> Look at that birthmark. How could I not see it? Oh, Joey! Joey. Joey? Young oh, man, you in very big trouble. I go to sue you in the court for ten million dollars. What your name? Joey Bucket Cherry. Uh, I mean, Chuck a Barry. And may I say with all due modesty, and to conclude these brief remarks, I am overjoyed and moved by what is taking place here tonight. Why it matters not which group wins and which group loses, for tonight we are all winners! All right. Damn, you guys are missing by some stroke of luck for us. Yeah! Now what we got to do is what we normally do. Strut, ah, uh, stop. Yeah. This is a question of give and take. They're gonna give and we gonna take. Yeah. Now, that green money is there and it's ours for the taking. You did. We did. You did. We did. You did. Are you for real? I want to know what's going on here. Izzy told me Spider's up his own tricks again. Who's missing? Conrad. Joe, he's missing too. Who we have to substitute? Nobody. What do you mean, nobody? There's plenty of good boys around. Everybody's afraid of Spider. He's been doing a number freaking everybody out. Hey, what's the, uh... You wouldn't believe it, man. You got a change for me? We don't got time. We're on in two minutes. I need a pair of sneakers. Thanks. How does he meet me by the stage? This is over there, it's by the fence. You're dancing tonight. You crazy, man. It's been too long. Izzy, you don't dance, we lose. We ain't got enough without Conrad and Joey. 
It's been too long, bro. I ain't in shape no more. Is it you used to I be? I used to be. A lot of things. Man, you my big brother. You made the same stuff as me. Come on. You know that ain't so. Look, man, I used to be proud of you. You was my big brother. You was the best. The best with the ladies. The best at stickball. And it was you that showed me all I know about breaking. I owe you, bro. I owe you for everything I got. We the best. We need to be. Man, what else we got in this world? Man, I can't. It's too late for me. Then it's too late for all of us. Say, so listen. All right, you fellas know about spiders' bad doings. Let's just go out there and take them. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has just arrived. I'm now going to introduce you each break of these two magnificent groups. To my left, you have the delivery boys introducing Max, Scandal, Psych. Sailor and Sir Fresh. To my right, you have the Devil Dogs. Introducing Mighty Whitey, Funky Frankie, Fast Force, Mr. Spin, Tiny Thunder, and Kid Swipe. <laughs> Whoa, now it's time to break. You have to be great. Get on the floor and demonstrate. You got to be loose. You can't be tight when you do some footwork and some swipes. Specialize in a hand glide. When you dance on the floor, gotta be unique. Show them that your dance style can't be beat. So do your thing, start to go wild. Cause it's time for you to do some freestyle. Mistake, just have some faith and you will be great. Let everyone know that you are for real when you show them devastating with me. Come <laughs> on. 
The judges will have to stop this contest. That will mean certain victory for the Devil Dog, who through sheer manpower are ahead on point. Hey, Joey, Joey, go in there and knock him dead. Hey, don't worry about that problem, Megan Taylor. That's Spider's problem now. You said it, but not him. You gonna go out your son dance, Mr. Tuckerberry? I don't think I want this. This for nothing in the world. Oh, let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, a miracle is happening. And by is, I mean Izzy Ramirez, who is trying to save the day for the delivery boy. I can't believe this. Izzy has picked his brother Max from the pile. You got a pair of shorts? Oh. Here you go. Thanks. Any kind. I got my green card last week, man. I'm American. You can't do this to me. I'm a citizen of the United States, man. You can't. Oh, please. No, no. Where's food? No, Christ, man. Me and welfare. Oh, I. Oh. 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 I. Oh. Me food. Oh, Lord.
with my friends the hellos and goodbyes a gang of crazy guys sounding their horns say hey world come catch a rising star from where we to go but higher with my friends we knew we had the choice to die or to rejoice we weren't no fools on our own we reached out for our share snatching hope from the despair No place to go but higher While we was creeping through all our schemes Our souls were sleeping without no dreams Then one day we found out place to go but higher with my friends we took the tools we had pulled the good out from the bad breaking our way till we reached the boundary of the waste the wine of life to take With my friends, we took the tools we had, pulled the good out from the bad, breaking our way till we reached the boundary of the waste, the wine of life to taste. I ain't no place to go. One with the ten.